Today we're going to be looking at a budget-friendly down sleeping bag from Kezer. First of all, I want to thank the company Kezer for sending me this down sleeping bag to test and show to you guys. Uh, there will be a link in the description box in case you're interested in uh, picking up one of these little guys. So what are the benefits of a down sleeping bag? The size, pack size, look how small it is. I don't even have it compressed down all the way. So it comes in this nice compression sack. You can cinch it down really good. About the size of a football. And this will keep you warm to 55 degrees. That would be comfortable. Survivability about 33 degrees. Not bad. This is a very good option in, for three seasons. Uh, summertime, not so much during the day, but at nighttime you could get temperatures in the 60s, maybe in the 50s, depending on where you're camping at. Uh, in my area, 70 degrees with a little breeze, you could get a little chill. This is perfect for things like that. It's perfect for those 50 degree nights and also a great extra layer for those cold winter months. Something a little bit smaller that you could add with it and you'll be totally fine with this. Let's get a pack size. So compressed down, pretty much the smallest I can get it. Let's take a look. So 11 inches. Oh, wait, 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 wait. So 10 inches by six inches. That's a pretty good pack size right there. All right, let's take it, let's get it out, take a look at it. So they do come in uh, different colors. Uh, I did choose the blue. So I haven't even taken this out of the stuff sack yet. This is my first time. So I'm kind of interested to see the quality of the materials and things. So far, this stuff sack is a really nice, robust, lightweight, very easy to use has a strap so you can pull your bag out. So another interesting fact or detail about this, these sleeping bags from Kaiser is you can link these together. So if you had another one, you could uh, cinch them together. That's really good for if you have a double air pad and both of you are in it, then you could link two of these together and be warm right snug next to each other. Now, I'll tell you what, this feels really nice. This is quality. This is good quality stuff right here. So it's kind of a mummy style, but if you notice your traditional mummy styles, the foot box really tapers down narrow. And what I like about the detail of Kezer is they squared it off. It does taper down, but you do get a square foot box. What does that mean? That means you got more room for your feet to move around. If you're a side sleeper, you're gonna be able to do that. Another good detail is they have this uh, extra zipper here at the foot box. So if you sleep kind of hot, you need a little bit of warmth around your chest area, your arms, but your feet are hot, you can unzip that and help regulate your body heat with the foot box and the top end. This, uh, just another good attention to detail here that they're thinking about. Very nice. This is a great color, by the way. Uh, you have to check out that link and uh, go look at these. Uh, they have some other color options, but I really like the blue. Man, that's a good Velcro right there. Nice big zipper. Man, it zips really easy. It's got a nice backing here so it doesn't snag and catch on the sleeping bag material. Man, I tell you, this is a lot of attention to detail for a budget-friendly sleeping bag. At some point, when does it not become a budget-friendly? <laughs> All right, I'm going to put the... Uh, Dimensions on the screen uh, of it opened up, and then I'm just going to get in here, and we're just going to check this out. Now, 
Man, I like the black on the inside. It's a nice contrast to that really nice looking blue. Okay. So just to give you a good reference, myself, I am six foot tall and I'm about 215 pounds. <clears throat> I'm not the smallest, I'm not the biggest, but uh, pretty good average size, maybe a little large than average. But uh, let's see how well I fit inside this Kezer sleeping bag. So this is 600 fill, and I believe it's goose. Oh man, look at that. This is very nice. Another attention to detail I just noticed. So the zipper goes all the way in and out. So you can bring it in to help zip it up from the inside. Nice. Okay, I keep, I keep getting sidetracked to all these. Oh, here's another feature. <laughs> Right here around the hood area, you can cinch it down to help hold in your body heat. Okay, this is this is very nice. And this thing is so lightweight and compact. And to get the warmth that you're gonna get out of this from such a small package, that's the benefit of having a down sleeping bag. And if you shop for down sleeping bags, they are expensive, I'm telling you. If you can find a good quality, budget-friendly down sleeping bag, which I think we found, and remember, I'm checking this out for the very first time. I'm I'm really uh, <laughs> really pleasant, pleasantly surprised so far by the quality of this. Oh, I didn't bring me a pillow out here. It's all right. All right, so. I'm going to slide down all the way. So I'm guessing if you're six foot four, you could probably fit inside of this. You can see I've got plenty of room for my head there. All right, let's see here. Man, that zipper is so nice, it doesn't snag. I hate trying to get in a sleeping bag and the dang zipper keeps snagging all the time. Whew. Man, I'll tell you what, this is, this is super nice, I really do like this. Man, this is really nice. So I got in a sleeping bag and I had plenty of room uh, I'm not going to have any issues at all using this as a sleeping bag. Typically, I like to use top quilts or a sleeping bag that you can use like a top quilt. And you can definitely use this as a top quilt. There's not going to be any issue at all. But if you want to get in it fully like a sleeping bag, there's plenty of room. So uh, just to give you a little reference size, I am extra large in shirts. So, and I still had plenty of room. I think a 2XL person could definitely fit in this. And I think up to six foot four, you could definitely fit in this. Man, what a great piece of equipment this is. Lightweight, man, it feels really good. All the details that just make this a really good buy, a really good purchase. Wow, okay. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna sum it up here. Uh, the Kezer down sleeping bag. I haven't tested it in cold weather. Uh, it's still summertime here in Texas. Uh, today, it's been a little bit cooler, so I'm actually able to get out and at least video this without just pouring sweat everywhere. <clears throat> but man, I am really pleased and <laughs> really surprised how well uh, constructed the quality of the materials, the ease of using it, the zippers, Man, it's just, all the attention to detail is gonna make this a great go-to sleeping bag for uh, three seasons. Like I said, if you wanna get this down into some real cold weather, just add a uh, sleeping bag liner and you could easily get this down into the teens, I would imagine, and stay comfortable. Thanks for watching.